Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. For those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you were not new, then welcome back girl. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a mango at H&M haul. Just wanted to share with you guys a few things that I just got new in for spring. Spring is sprung, girl. I am so excited about spring. I am in my makeup room slash closet slash dressing room. And right outside the door, or right outside my window is my front yard. And I'm just looking at my little bush. It's blooming. The flowers are blooming on it. And yeah, I'm just excited about spring and just spring fashion and just spring in general. Like I have on some colorful blue eyeshadow I've been, I thought I would try out that new blue eyeshadow trend that's been you know popping off I don't know you guys let me know what you think about it I'm not like an eyeshadow person I yeah that I don't really do a whole lot of eyeshadow much less you know colorful eyeshadow so I don't know I'm, I'm liking it I don't know it might be a little too much but you guys let me know like I'm trying to have fun with my fashion so I feel like I'm trying to do that too with my makeup too just having a little fun just doing a little bit of colorful makeup you know eyeshadow you guys let me know what you think it might be a total feel but I like it I think it's cute so it's definitely something different for me I have my mirror here I'm looking at it I think it's cute I like it it's, it matches my top too so but yeah, all the all the spring vibes is what I've been feeling here lately. So I'm just going to share with you guys all the things that I just got from Mango and H&M. Without any further rambling from me, let's just get into this haul. All right, so first thing I'm going to get into is the pieces from Mango. We'll just start there first. I didn't get a lot of clothing items from here. Um, actually, I didn't get a lot of clothing items, period. I don't really, for one thing, I don't need a lot of clothing. Um, I have a lot of clothes. If you guys been following me, you know I love to shop. So um, I didn't really have that many things that I just kind of wanted to add to my wardrobe for the springtime. You know, as the months go on, I'm sure that will change, but I like accessories. I feel like that's one way that you can really like amp up your outfit. As you can see, I'm just accessory out. Like I'm just all accessories, all accessories all the time. So I just feel like you can really change up your outfit, really change up your look just by changing your accessories. Just like a little, you know, change here with some jewelry and a handbag, something, you know, a hat, you know, can really make your outfit more interesting. So this particular mango order, I just got a lot of accessories, mainly purses. But yeah, I did get some clothing pieces. So we'll just start from there. I hate to start on a bad note, but we're going to get the bad stuff out the way. Um, the stuff that didn't work, everything else. And it's actually just one thing. Everything else did work. Um, but the first thing I got is this like off the shoulder top. We know that these off the shoulder tops are super trendy right now. And so I thought this would work, but it didn't. I couldn't even get this over my shoulder. And I got this in a size large. So yeah, this thing must run super, super small because I am like a medium large <laughs> up top as far as tops. But this thing, I couldn't even get it over my shoulders. And I don't even have like extra, you know, wide, broad shoulders. So I don't understand that. I'm very particular about my off the shoulder tops too. Like I don't like for them to be too constricting because when you lift your arms, they just roll up and that just aggravates me. So I like and off the shoulder top that's real just loose and just kind of falls over and even when I do this it doesn't move you know or if it does move it will fall right back down so this does not do that I couldn't even get it on my shoulders girl so I mean it's a cute top you know nonetheless but it just it just didn't work for me so I am definitely gonna take this back and I hardly ever say that I'm taking anything back because most of the time most pieces that I purchase especially from stores that I've been shopping at I pretty much you know it fits me but that didn't work at all so i will try to pop a picture of how it looks um on the model and you know for you guys on the screen in case you are interested um they did have some bigger sizes so i can always just size up but i'm not even gonna take a chance with that girl because it's the fabric is thin and which is good for like the springtime but yeah that just didn't work for me so that's gonna go back but i wanted to show you anyway just in case you may have some you know small shoulders you know i think i have broad shoulders but like i said i don't have like big you know football player shoulders girl um so that didn't work all right so the next clothing item is this piece y'all know or if you've been following me especially if you saw my last video my um how to style leopard print which is a huge huge trend for this year and I'm all I'm all for it because I have so many uh, leopard printed pieces um, but yeah my last video I showed you how to style leopard print and so I just bought more of it y'all um, like I said in that video because it's trending you can find all kind of leopard printed pieces so anytime I find something leopard print that I like I will scoop it up and buy it so um, so this is just like a see-through um, mesh kind of top we know that mesh is also huge and trendy um, but this is totally see-through so um, which is fine um, I can just wear like 
a little tank top underneath it or like a little bandeau top but it is definitely see-through um and i thought this would be cute to wear in the springtime i can also wear this in the uh, summertime too because like i said it is pretty, pretty much just a mesh piece of material so but i thought it was cute it's very stretchy um i got this in a star size large i think it just comes in small medium and large yeah it just comes in small medium and large so and like i said i'm a medium large up top so it fits me fitted which is what i liked um and it's a mesh top so you kind of want it to be fitted so i figured i can wear this with like a you know with jeans i can wear it with jeans i can wear it with denim i can wear it with like a slip skirt there's just so many ways i can style this up so um i just thought it was cute and just thought it was a good like layering piece or just to wear on its own like i said with even like a little bando top underneath it um so yeah love this little um leopard printed top so just had to get it and here is the leopard print top and i absolutely love it um i forgot to mention that it does have like a little black little panel to it here i don't know if you can see that it's like a little mesh panel here so it's not as see-through in the front as it is in the sleeves as you can see like the black paneling in the front just kind of makes it to where it's not so see-through in the front um so you can kind of see it my the front part compared to my arm like it's definitely sheer and in in the back it's definitely sheer in the back so um for me um i probably would wear like maybe like a little vest on top just to kind of cover the back or i'd wear like a little blazer or something or if i just wanted to wear it out um and not layer up anything on you know on it then i would just wear just like i said like a little bando top or just like a tank top like a you know little small tank top so um but if you don't mind like you really can't really see a whole lot and i have all my little pasties um like little nipple covers so um that's how that's why you're not able to see like any kind of bra strap or if you don't mind your bra strap showing um i don't typically i don't too much like that look i'd be more comfortable with like a little bandeau top um but i love it definitely it's very stretchy definitely very comfortable um nothing too constricting it's also just a cute layering piece actually to wear with anything like a denim jacket or any kind of layering piece so um and i just styled it up with this denim maxi skirt with a little split in the middle and i just put on just some little mules just to kind of dress it up a little bit um if i wanted to like you know wear it in kind of like in a dressy way so but this is the top absolutely love it definitely going to be keeping it all right the next piece i got is this burgundy belt i don't have a burgundy belt and um in one of my style goals for the year i wanted to um wanted to you know style up belts more often because i do have a lot of belts <laughs> and so that's one of my style goals is wear belts more often it's just another way to like i said add some you know add an extra detail to your outfit so i love like the gold hardware on this and it's like in this croc kind of effect and i'm in love in, with burgundy um stay tuned i'm going to be doing a video about how to style burgundy so stay tuned for that if you like burgundy and want to see how to style it up so um but yeah i just love this belt it's really substantial i got this belt in a size large and it comes in small medium large and extra large i think the extra large is out of stock when i purchased this but the large does fit me just perfectly so i'm not worried about that at all like i can wear it on my natural waist or i can wear it high waisted like the cinch in like a blazer or any kind of like oversized top so um yeah i really love this the color of this it just kind of looks vintage a little bit um to me so um but yeah i love this burgundy color and like i said i've been trying to incorporate more belts into my outfits and i feel like you can also do that in the fall you know in the springtime in the fall and winter time but also in the spring and summertime too so but yeah love that little belt there all right and the next <laughs> the next four items are all handbags um yeah i love handbags that's no that's no secret here if you've been following me i love handbags so i went overboard with the handbags but that's okay so the first one i'm on the fence about this one um i said i did have a few misses in this um particular mango haul but i have this one might be a miss so it's this little raffia little uh, i think it's called a tote bag um doesn't say the description on here on the tag but it is like a, i think it's described on the website as a hobo style bag or not hobo a tote bag um and so here's what it looks like and um i thought it was going to be bigger that's why i'm kind of on the fence about it because on the website it looked like it was bigger although you know how when you uh, like how they model these particular items on the website they usually have a model 
you know modeling it so you can kind of get a reference for how big it is this particular item there was no model modeling it so all i could see was the image and so i don't know why in my head i guess i thought in the picture it looked like it was going to be bigger but girl this is so small so i mean and i mean i could fit my essentials in here but you know how when you expect something in your head and then you get it and it's like expectation versus reality that's kind of like how it was for me with this handbag because it's definitely small like you i can like i said i can fit my accessories in here it has two like little compartments one here one here um so i can definitely fit my necessities in here like if i'm going to run errands or something i can fit um like my card holder and you know if you you know a few lip products maybe a small little hand sanitizer like you can fit your essentials in here so it's fine but i just wanted it to be bigger um it is cute it definitely looks like a high-end you know more um you know expensive hand handbag and i love like the raffia on it's definitely a cute summer bag but i'm on the fence about it and you'll see why when i show you the other bag because i have one kind of similar to it and i've been kind of going between the two because i don't need both um but i don't know i think i'm gonna take this back because it's definitely not as big as I thought it was going to be. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to take this one back. Because um, I like the other one a little bit better than this one. Not that I don't like this one, but I feel like I would love it even more. And probably would keep it if it was just a little bit bigger. So, um, but that's it. That's the bag nonetheless. If you guys are interested in like a bag like this, like a little tote bag, just know it is small. Like, look at it compared to, uh, like, on, you know, on my body, I guess. Um, it's small, so... Um, but yeah, that's so cute, but just not big enough for me. All right, the next three bags are kind of similar as far as the shape. And I've been loving these kind of bags. Um, they definitely remind me of, I think it's Celine that do like a box bag. I'll pop a picture and kind of show you what I'm talking about on the screen. And I just love that bag. I think it's classy, sophisticated, a good running errands bag. Um, and I just love it. So I saw these on Mango and I had to get all three. Um, so yeah, so the first one is this one. Um, and like I said, this is why... Uh, I was telling you guys like I didn't know if I was going to keep the other one and because I got this one is similar to yeah it's similar to a little tote bag so um as you can see like this one is a little bit bigger than this one not that much bigger but I don't know between the two I like this one better if this one was bigger I probably would like this one better but it's too small so yeah so this is the bag and it's just like a little short like a crossbody bag I think it's what it's described as or maybe a shoulder bag and i love like a little closure here you just turn it and then it just opens up it's just very substantial bag like this looks high end looks like a luxury bag it looks like it came from celine um and then on the inside it has two little compartments as well as the little shoulder strap here um actually no it doesn't have two compartments i thought it had two compartments it's just let me take this paper out it's just one one big compartment no side pocket or anything like that um, but it does have a little space here. So I guess it does have two, have two compartments. Like you can put like your card holder or something here. Like any kind of like um, paper or something like receipts you can put in here. This is like an envelope kind of style here. So I guess it does have two compartments. So one smaller one here and then this big open one here. So this one definitely will fit everything. Like this will even fit my phone. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this one will fit my phone as opposed to the other one. I'll probably have to sit my phone up um, with the other one. I don't know. I didn't really see if my phone would fit in that one. But anyway, let me stop talking about that other that other bag because it's too. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep it. It's not. It's not what I expected. Um, but anywho, so yeah, this bag's so cute. And like I said, it definitely looks high end. Looks like a luxury handbag. And you know, why pay the expensive luxury price when you can get something similar on the you know on the uh, high end or on the you know high street or you know affordable route so i just love it i love like the little closure it's definitely giving me you know luxury vibes so um and it's definitely good quality it's a really good quality bag like like i said it's definitely looks like something you could you know get high end so but yeah so got that and then i loved it so much i got this version of it um this is different actually kind of different from that other bag this one um it has the opening is different so it's just like it goes like this you just pull it apart and it's like a little snap closure here you just pull it open so i like that detail because you don't have to fuss too much about it that one you gotta that that other one the raffia one you gotta turn it and open it this one you just literally just open it and it has like a good it's like a good strong like magnetic closure so um but yeah i love this bag it, this one definitely remind me of the celine box bag and uh, i just love the color of it um i don't think i have a bag this color i'm trying to look and see i have some like camel camel 
caramel color bags um but this one is more like a deep i don't know like a deep caramel or i don't know it's not really chocolate it's like a light chocolate i don't know but it's pretty i love the color of this like i said i don't have any bags like this and again i thought this looked high end and um this one also comes with a strap as you can see and it also has two little compartments similar to the raffia one it has like this little envelope kind of um part here where you can put like like i said some receipts or something in here and then of course it has the big pocket here which i don't think yeah this doesn't have any side pocket to it so but yeah i just love this bag i thought it was so chic again so sophisticated and would be perfect to you know use like like i said to run errands like a good crossbody bag if i wanted to look chic and put together and just wanted you know my accessories to also match my chicness then i thought this would be a cute little bag to style up with some of my neutral outfits or even like a colorful outfit like what i have on this will be cute with so um but definitely love this bag and definitely got, glad i got it and i liked it so much that i got it in another color because y'all know when I like something, I tend to get it in multiple colors. So I also got it in the black. And the black one definitely looked real luxurious and really um, substantial and just really high end. So this is the black version of that same bag. And again, I love like this box kind of detail. I think that's what you call it, like a box shape. And I definitely, definitely love this bag. I didn't have, I don't think I have anything like this. Actually, I do have something like, like it, but it's smaller and it doesn't fit my phone in it and i like this one because it fits my phone so it's truly a crossbody bag to like go run errands and like i said if i wanted to be chic and put together or if i have like a chic look and i just wanted it to continue with my handbag then i thought this would be a you know a nice addition to my handbag collection so it definitely just look designer like it definitely looks like the celine box bag it definitely looks like something you know like from ysl um and like i said celine just very sleek that's the word I'm, I'm looking for. Very sleek handbag. Um, this bag actually comes in warmer color. It comes in like a, I can't even describe the, the it says, it's, it's described on the website as light brown, but it's like a taupey kind of color. It's definitely lighter than this color brown. I think it's, I think it's described as light brown on the website, but it looks like a taupey color. So I'm thinking I might exchange those two items, the top, that black top and the raffia little tote bag. Um, I think I'm going to exchange those and get that bag because when I like something, I get it in multiple colors because why not? But I think that's it. Those are all the things that I got from Mango. Now I'm going to quickly share with you guys the things that I got from H&M. All right, so the first thing, we're going to start with the fails because I did that with the mango pieces. So we're going to do that again with the H&M pieces. H&M, um, I tend to have more fails from H&M than I do mango. So, um, but yeah, this these pieces just didn't work for me. So um, the first piece, and, these, and this is the reason why I even went on the H&M website because I typically don't go on there unless I see something that I want. Um, whether it be through an advertisement or something and I think I saw an advertisement on it on uh, Facebook for this particular piece and by the way um, a lot of these pieces I purchased because I wanted to wear them on vacation because I am getting ready to go out of town um, I'm going to um, a beach we're gonna ha we're going to have a, like a, we're gonna have like a little beach vacation trip and so I wanted like some beachy stuff because I haven't quite gotten my spring stuff out of the out of my you know storage unit yet or out of my storage downstairs in the basement so yeah <laughs> I guess I'm just being lazy so I just said let me just buy some stuff to take with me down to the beach <laughs> instead of going through my actual spring stuff um I did yesterday I went through my spring stuff yesterday so um now I can just really just get the stuff that I really want and I don't feel like I need to keep this stuff so um but anyway the first piece I got are these trousers and they are like this geometric kind of print I guess if you will um and they're advertised as resort trousers on the website so I thought that would of course I had to you know get them because i thought that would be perfect for the beach but these did not work for me and i got them in a size 12 and i feel like i am a us 12 i honestly don't know what my size is on the as far as on the bottom um, i know i'm a small medium up top that's pretty much consistent regardless to how much weight i gain or lose but as far as the bottom yeah and i've been working out so my legs are a little bit more my legs and my butt are a little bit more muscular <laughs> so i have to take into account that as well um but anyway 
Um, I got these in a size 12 and they do not work. They do not fit. I can't even button them up. So, um, definitely I feel like this runs small. Uh, maybe that's just me. Uh, but it is cute. But it, and also I think it's also sold out. I think they only have a few sizes left. Um, that's the thing with H&M. Like when the stuff comes on the site, you gotta scoop it up and get it quickly. Or else it's gonna sell out. So hopefully, hopefully I can, you know, link these pieces. And if you guys, you know, are interested in them, then they will still be available. So by the way, I will link everything that I share with you guys. As always, I will link it down in the description box. So just be sure to check down there. But yeah, these trousers are cute, but they did not work for me. And um, I tried to go on the website to see if I can order bigger size. And I think they were out of the bigger sizes, of course. So I'm going to take these back and see if maybe I can find them in store because there are about two or three H&M's um, where I live that I can check to see if these are in stock in the store. So, um, but they're cute. Like they are really cute. Um, I, I always gravitate towards black and white pieces with some sort of geometric print or shape or something. So that's why I love these because it's just so chic and so classic, but yet it's lightweight. So um yeah so this is the whole reason why i went on the h&m website and they don't and they don't even work and you know it doesn't even fit so um so to go with that uh those trousers i purchased the top as well and i got the top in a medium because i think i typically don't even get a medium in my tops because i don't like them a medium if i get a medium it's gonna fit me just right and i like for it to be a little bit oversized have a little bit of room especially in the warmer months girl I, I live in the south i live in georgia it is too hot to be having anything fitted you know especially if it's not if you know if it's not something that's lightweight and this is lightweight but still I like in the summertime I like that easy breezy kind of feel or I like to kind of feel easy breezy girl I don't like to be constricted because it's just too hot um so I wanted this in a large but the large was out of stock so I took a chance and went with the medium and the medium does fit um but I want it to be a little bit oversized and I think on the website the the model which was she was an over a plus size model she had it tied up like in like a little tie detail in the front yeah i think that's kind of like the look i was going for and this is too small as far as in a medium to do that so um this is going back um it does fit like i said but as far as to style up different ways like if i wanted to tie it up in the front i can't do that because it's just too small so um, I was going to keep this one and just return the pants, but I'm going to return both because I feel like if I, if it doesn't fit me the way that I want it to fit and it's not giving me what I need it to give, I need to take it back. So that's going back to H&M and hopefully I can find larger sizes in those pieces in the store. So fingers crossed. I hope that I can. Alright, the next item I got, this is also super trendy right now, like these striped um bottoms i don't know why that's trending but it is and i mean i don't care if it's trending i like stuff like this i was wearing striped pieces last year so um uh, i got it because it looked like it was comfortable so it's just these trousers they're definitely giving me like grandpa you know sleeper trousers or something or grandpa pajamas but i like that vibe too um yeah so i love this this is definitely st i'm definitely keeping this one it definitely fits um, and I got these in an extra large. I kind of probably could have got a large in this and I feel like it would have worked. And yeah, I got an extra large and it's like a linen blend. And I have a top, a linen top that's actually very close to this um, that I got last year from H&M. So I figured I could do like a, you know, a, a set, two-piece set kind of moment. Um, or I can just wear it on its own. So I just thought this would be cute to wear, you know, down at the beach you know especially like in, in the evening or at night um just something really comfortable like i said something flowy just will flow in the wind you know girl so um and i can wear it with like a white t-shirt or like some sort of denim top or something so i just thought it was cute and versatile so um and it's lightweight too so and i can wear it here you know in georgia as well so um but yeah that definitely works and it's elasticated all the way around it does have a tie here so um, that's why I'm not going to take this back and get a large is because I can cinch in the waist if I need to. Um, and so, yeah, love this piece. Definitely going to keep it and definitely going to take this with me, um, to our beach trip. Um, if anything else to just kind of wear in the condo, you know, just kind of lounging around on those days where we just want to lay lounge around the condo. So, all right, and here are those striped trousers and I just absolutely love these. I forgot to mention they also have pockets. Um, so love that and yeah I just dress it up in kind of like a casual chic kind of um, preppy kind of way um, so 
yeah love these uh, trousers they definitely fit me just fine um, I did uh, cinch in the waist a little bit more um, just to kind of wear them more um, high waisted because if I don't tie the waist then they definitely fall kind of like my natural waist or just like a you know your natural waist or just a medium rise so um, or even like low rise too so um, like I said I could have gotten them in a large I got them in an extra large but the large definitely could have fit fine and um, like I said I am 5'8 just so you can kind of get some height reference as far as how they will fall on you and yeah love them definitely going to be keeping these and they're super lightweight perfect for the warmer months and perfect for like a beach vacation which is what I'm getting ready to go on go go on and so they'll be perfect for that so um but definitely love them definitely highly recommend them and I just style them up with just a little cropped button-up shirt um and then I just draped over like a uh, a navy blue little um sweatshirt and then I paired it with this little crossbody bag from uh, mango that I showed you in the mango portion so and also the H&M slides if I haven't showed those yet um, yeah so love the these trousers definitely highly recommend them and I am definitely going to be keeping these all right this next clothing piece is this skirt and this is like is this linen blend I don't think this is linen blend this is made out of 83% viscose. I feel like a lot of H&M pieces are made out of that that material. So, and I got this in extra large as well. And it is again elasticated. I feel like when pieces are elasticated on H&M, when it when the like the 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 uh, waist is elasticated, I feel like the pieces work better for me for me than a piece that's like button that buttons or something. Just kind of like those um, striped or patterned trousers. It has no stretch to those like as far as the uh, waistband it's button it buttons i forgot to mention that and whenever i get pieces like that that button it de it never fits <laughs> but whenever every time i get something elasticated it always fits um so yeah so this fits again i could have gotten this in a large and been okay as well but i went got it in an extra large just in case and it's kind of like a linen it looks like a linen feel but it's definitely viscose um and it's just like a a maxi skirt in like this um, beige kind of color so get another neutral color so absolutely love it I can wear it with like a linen top or you know a tank top um, I can wear this it's like a cover-up for like a bathing suit and yeah I just thought it was versatile again so I just love it and it's lightweight so perfect for like the beach or something so um, just absolutely love this little skirt and love the fact that it's elasticated so definitely definitely gonna keep it as well all right here is how the skirt looks like on me um, like I said I got an extra large and I could have definitely gotten this in a large and been fine um, here is the waist it's very much so elasticated so um, definitely love the skirts very lightweight and just very easy bleak you know breezy flowy so um, kind of love it with this outfit actually I think this will be a cute outfit to wear out and I just paired it with the little raffia handbag from mango just kind of show you guys how the bag looks like on me um, I am 5'8 just for reference so you can kind of see how this skirt will kind of you know fall on you if you are um, shorter than me it's probably gonna drag um, the ground um, I, it's very hard for me to get a max fine maxi things because I'm tall so um, but this is how it looks on me and I have it on with these little um, brown chocolate brown slides I think if I haven't showed you guys these already I will show them and talk about them um, from H&M but yeah this is the skirt and just um, just a very easy breezy you know skirt that you can wear you know in the warmer months so absolutely love it all right the next thing I got um I, i'm gonna keep it but it definitely is something that is was funny to me i don't know i typically don't get a lot of jewelry pieces from h&m but i don't know i just like i saw this and you know liked it on the website but now that i got it in person i'm just like eh, i don't know about it um but it's this little silver chain like chunky chain i have a lot of uh, gold chunky chains and you guys always ask me anytime I wear any of them where they're from and so I just thought I wanted a silver one just to kind of you know change it up a little bit because I'm always wearing gold and I don't have any like silver chunky chains so I saw this on H&M and purchased it and it is very flimsy like I don't know if you can hear it 
<laughs> it's definitely flimsy and definitely made out of plastic like a lot of the chains i have they are they're heavy not too heavy but they're kind of substantial and this is definitely lightweight and just it's definitely costume jewelry you know it is what it is but it's definitely plasticky and just like like a little toy or something i don't know girl um but i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna wear it anyway um because you know it's all about having fun right um but yeah i wanted a like a chunky silver chain necklace and so i purchased this and i think this is out of stock i feel like this is out of stock the last time i looked on the website i think it was out of stock so but i will link it anyway just in case it comes back in stock or if you guys you know might be able to find it um um in the store so but it's just you know cute little chunky chain silver chunky chain all right and the last thing i got from h&m and i think this is probably the most my favorite part of the whole haul and it is accessory um yeah i love the all the accessories i purchased in this video or i purchased in this haul i love so i saw these on the website and just fell in love and i like this these chocolate brown slides and i love these zara have some similar to this that they always that come out they come out with every year and it has like this kind of intricate like weave detail to it Zara definitely have some like this because I have several in several colors and so I saw this deep chocolate brown and just fell in love I've been trying to find some deep chocolate brown um, sandals like this for a while and so I saw them on H&M and just had to scoop them up because again when you see something on H&M that you like you need to go ahead and get it because it's going to sell out and I'm pretty sure <laughs> these are already sold out I think the last time I checked which was yesterday they had a size 11 in stock um so yeah you may be able to find them in store i will link them anyway just in case if you're in another country and they are in stock in another country somewhere um, i will link them but i love these and i got these in a us 10 i'm like a nine and a half ten i usually go up with my um sandals because my feet tend to swell in the summertime because it's just so hot so and these fit perfectly i don't think they're real leather but they definitely look like they look designer they look high end they look like ysl because ysl also sell um some sandals or some slides similar very similar to this so it's definitely giving me wide sale vibes definitely giving me high-end vibes and in the summertime it's spring and summer really but definitely in the summertime i live in slides like this like i have so 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 many and because it's just easy just convenient and when it's hot like i don't know about you but when i'm hot my feet get hot and i'm just uncomfortable so i just like for my feet to be out because i just feel more comfortable and cool you know cooled off when i have slides on or any kind of sandals so but yeah i live in these in the um summertime and so just had to get them and they will look cute with you know colorful outfits like this like you know blue you know just to be pretty with like this brown tone so but yeah definitely love these they also come in a gold um as well i think the gold um uh, version of these are in stock but i think the brown are out of stock and i think they only have one size and that's 11 so but i will link them down below anyway all right so those are all the things that i've got from h&m and mango and i just want to share with you guys one piece because i said in my last video which was how to style leopard print video that i would talk about this piece uh, more in um this haul so because i promised you guys that i'm gonna go ahead and do that so um the piece i'm talking about is this denim leopard print denim jacket that i got from amazon um you guys a few guys had asked me about it in that video and i told you guys that i would talk about it in this video so this is the denim jacket and it's in this leopard print and i absolutely love it like i said in my leopard print um video i was looking for or i googled um leopard print denim jacket didn't think i would find it but i did find this on amazon and i just absolutely love it it's super lightweight so you definitely can wear this in the spring and summertime and the summertime you can wear it to like you know in the evening like when it's cooler or something and i feel like it'll be cute to wear in the summer as well because i'll be rocking this in the summer like i wear thick you know thin jackets like this in the summertime so i just absolutely love this and um it has like a pocket here on the sleeve which is so totally different on the sleeve girl what am i saying <laughs> it has a pocket here um in like the you know um, breast area i think it has a pocket here too and it has pockets here on the side here so it has several pockets and it also has a pocket in the um in the in the inside of the jacket too which i probably would never put anything there but as you can see it's a very lightweight very lightweight jacket um or if you might can't see it but it is very lightweight so like i said it's a good layering piece um definitely perfect to wear now and then perfect to wear in you know the summertime and i got mine in an extra large this also comes um in a like fringe version like there's one 
um, version of it where it has like fringe detail in the back I think and also some fringe in the front and I think it also comes in just like a brown the brown on the brown one on the side looks like it might be like a faux leather or something so this actually went out of stock a couple of days ago so and it's back in stock so I don't know um, I don't know if I kind of sold it out when I shared it with you guys a couple of days ago, but um, I definitely love this denim jacket um, and I love like the leopard print on it. So this is just one way to incorporate a little bit of fun, unique detail to your outfit. It's just with like a little leopard jacket and it's definitely oversized on me. So I feel like I could have gotten a large and been okay, but I like oversized things. I, I don't know what that is. It's just like oversized things. I like to be comfortable. So um, I just went upside. So you definitely can get your true size though. So, and I like the back of it. The back of it is kind of elasticated as well to kind of like cinch in the waist a little bit. So I definitely love this jacket. This is probably definitely my favorite purchase in a while. <laughs> or definitely my favorite purchase of the month, if you, if you will. If I had to pick between, you know, pick a favorite purchase of the month, it definitely would be this denim jacket because like I said, I was not expecting to get uh, or find this when I googled it and I love the leopard print on it like this is definitely um the kind of print leopard print I like like there's some leopard prints that I'm just like eh but you know I, there are def leopard, leopard prints that I love and this is definitely it and the sleeve also kind of like um it's like billows out a little bit like I love this jacket I just can't say enough of good things about it. That's why I thought I'd mention to you guys because I love it so much. So, and yeah, I got it from Amazon. Super affordable. All right, you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, Like I said, everything that I shared with you guys in this video, I will link down in the description box. So, just be sure to check down there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.